This section's awfully stubby. Info from Christmas special and the deviant strain needs to be added. The doctor tracked a mauve and dangerous object through the vortex to 1941 London. After landing, Rose found a mysterious boy in a gas mask on a nearby roof, asking for his mother. She climbed a rope to reach him, but it was the rope of a barrage balloon which had come loose and she was carried off into the blitz-torn sky. The ex-time agent Jack Harkness rescued Rose from falling, bringing her aboard his invisible warship and, believing she and the doctor were time agents, offered to sell them the object they were chasing, which he called, the last Chula warship in existence. Jack and Rose followed the doctor to Albion Hospital, not far from the crash site at Limehouse Green Station, where living dead creatures, with gas masks fused to their face, and identical symptoms, including a scar on the hand in the same place as the child that Rose had seen, were being kept. Jack, upon realizing the doctor and Rose weren't time agents but freelancers like himself, revealed he was conning them and the object was a Chula ambulance, which Jack himself had used to attract one of the agency as part of a con to sell half of the object right before a German bomb hit it, instead bringing the attention of the doctor and Rose. TV, the empty child. Jack teleported the doctor and Rose to his warship, and they went to the bomb site near the hospital, where they realized the truth. Jack believed the object to be empty space junk, but in fact, the ambulance contained nanogenus. Having never encountered a human before, the nanogenist took the gas mask to be the child's face and fused it to him, spreading to other people who touched him and also transforming them into undead gas mask creatures. The ambulance activated its emergency protocols, calling the creatures, who had been armed as Chula warriors, and were ready to tear the world apart, to find the boy's mother. As every patient and soldier at the bomb site converged on the doctor, Rose and Jack, the doctor fixed the nanogena's mistakes by comparing the DNA of the child and Nancy, who was his mother, restoring the infected zombies to normal. Jack in turn prevented the bomb from hitting the bomb site by placing it in stasis inside his warship and when everyone got to safety, the doctor destroyed the ambulance, making sure that history said that a bomb hit that location. The doctor rescued Jack from his Chula warship just before it exploded, taking him aboard the TARDIS as his latest companion. TV the doctor dances. During an adventure with the doctor and Jack, Rose accidentally married a prehistorical human called Tillon, and she became a widow when Tillon lived out his human life in his own time period. Pros, only human. The doctor took Rose and Jack to where the planet Xkroth should have been, but found it was gone. The TARDIS was taken aboard a lecked spaceship, but the doctor and Jack escaped after it was attacked by Unon. Rose was blasted into the time vortex, but was protected from the time winds by the tachyon inhibitor she found. She was pulled into the time scoops of Glom's ship, and subsequently spent four days working on Glom's stall at the Florin Temporal Bazaar. The doctor called the attention of the Unon, but attracted the Lect who attacked one another, and which subsequently led to the emergency protocol being triggered, dissipating the time bubble protecting Florin's world. Rose was taken by the Lect to serve them, and discovered they were Excrothians from Excroth, and the Unon had destroyed their home planet with an entropy engine. Rose tricked the doctor into revealing the coordinates of the perpetual city, and had him taken aboard the Lect command ship to get him out of there. With the Lect seeking revenge, the doctor took Grand Prelin Marleth to destroy the entropy engine, telling a disagreeing Rose that it was Marleth's choice to do so. When the doctor took as many Unon as they could, telling them that the universe had to look after itself and not be controlled by the Unon, Rose told them it was a fresh start. Comic. Weapons of Past Destruction. The Doctor, Rose and Jack visited the Eye of Orion, where they encountered the famous geohacker Tagani. Comic. Hacked. Not long after, the Doctor brought Rose back to 2006 to catch up with her mother. Comic. Supremacy of the Cybermen. On an adventure to Melikinia Beta, Rose flew the TARDIS while the Doctor pulled Jack back inside, having her piloting criticized by her fellows. Comic. Secret Agent Man. When the three continued to search for leads on Jack's missing memories, they were brought to Garusa Prime in the 38th century where Doctor Who was a popular television show. When the Doctor had been arrested for identity theft, Rose used the psychic paper to enter the television studio where she found that the false Doctor was Slist Fayflut Martavirthan Slathine, who rendered her unconscious and planted a bomb in her arm. Despite the explosive, when Slist took the stage on clicks, Rose exposed her as an imposter which wound up implicating her as well in the eyes of the Roxas Alliance. Made the target of a hunt, 
Slist and Rose fled into the jungle, hiding from acid rain that had melted part of Slist's skin before Jack and the doctor arrived. After having the bomb removed, Rose and Slist made their way to weather control to expose Glada Lay Sooth Marka Jinglathine's treachery. After the senior envoy had been arrested, the group left clicks, the doctor directing Rose to the waterfall room to clean herself. Comic. Doctor Mania. Once she and Jack were cleaned up, they saw that the TARDIS had landed in San Francisco, Rose eagerly running out to see the city. She met the superhuman Dino, and, infatuated, tried to get his attention by standing on a tall building only to slip. However, instead of falling, she discovered that she too could fly, and she joined the other superhumans. When the superhumans began abusing a frightened gargoyle however, Rose stood up for it until Dean began mutating into a gargoyle himself. When Jack caught up with her, he revealed that their mutations were caused by the energy of a wormhole, Rose boldly leading her fellows through it to confront the aliens on the other side before the doctor managed to collapse the portal. Back in San Francisco, Rose noted that Dean was missing, and the doctor reassured her that they would find him when they got the TARDIS back. Comic. The Transformed. Tracking Dean down to Blaze Castle in the 1970s, or possibly the 1980s, the group met Tara Mishra before the castle was demolished by a monster and Unit arrived to take Dean into custody as the monster vanished. Brought back to Unit HQ, the Doctor, Rose and Jack were informed that giant monsters were terrorizing England. Initially staying by Dean's side, Rose joined the Doctor in the field when Brigadier Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart returned, where the Doctor used a sonic cannon to destroy an aquatic monster where Albion Defense was contracted to take over unit operations. When Rose freed Dean from Albion's cage, she was taken to their base. Meeting the imprisoned Harry Sullivan, Rose revealed the hidden sonic screwdriver in her boot and the two exposed Albion as the ones responsible for creating the monsters, which were nothing more than illusions. After Unit was reinstated and Dean set free, the TARDIS trio followed a lead to the 17th century on Jack's missing memories only for Tara Mishra to have boarded the TARDIS. Comic. Official Secrets. Arriving in Brazil in 1682, Rose was teased by Jack for her obvious jealousy at Tara's quick bond with the doctor before they ran across the Bandeirante, Portuguese slave traders. Still jealous, Rose joined Jack in investigating a time agency safe house where they found a record that Zeloy Volk, a man whom Jack had executed, was still alive. After saving the doctor from the LPPRA, an ashamed Jack said goodbye to the group, using his vortex manipulator to find answers on his own. Comic. Slaver's Song. When patients of the Hesgard Institute in the 53rd century began relapsing, the doctor framed himself for Tara's murder so he could infiltrate the facility, Rose posing as an earth examiner. When the Institute attempted to transfer the doctor's negative emotions into a sin eater, his telepathic abilities interfered with the process, creating a misshapen being driven by his self-loathing and memories of his previous incarnations. After the doctor had banished the being to the void along with the facility's Matryoshka drive, Rose informed Tara that such a quick getaway was standard for them. Comic. Sin Eaters. After the doctor had gotten a lead on Jack, he, Rose and Tara flew to Namake in the 54th century. No sooner had they located Jack did they fall into a trap set by Addison de la Mar who had masterminded the trail of Jack's memories to harvest the doctor's memories. Given an experience sphere, Rose was detained within the Memgram Experience Network. Just as she, Jack and Tara reunited, the Cybermen began attacking, triggering Rose's memory of a negated timeline that overloaded the spheres. After the Cybermen had been defeated, the Doctor openly broadcasted the grief he felt about the Time War, driving away the other auctioneers before Jack duped De La Mar into leaving. When the time came to leave however, Tara stayed behind to help Namake rebuild. Comic. The bidding war. When Jack eventually went back for Tara, Rose and the Doctor went to 1886 where Rose met Vastra and Jenny Flint. When they were shipwrecked, the four found themselves on an island populated by Silurians of the Scholar caste who carried a deadly plague but served as emissaries of the Fourth Doctor to deliver a message to the Ninth about a malignant white energy. After escaping the Silurians who had fallen prey to the energy, the Doctor deposited everyone at Vastra's house in Victorian era London while he left to handle the crisis later returning for Rose once it had been solved. Comic. The Lost Dimension. When the TARDIS became powerless to travel through time, the Doctor went to 2006 Cardiff so that the TARDIS could refuel via a scar in the rift that was closed by Gwyneth. 
Whilst in Cardiff, the doctor and his two companions, joined by Mickey, captured Blon, the sole Slitheen survivor of the attack on Downing Street and had become Lord Mayor. Though Blonde tried to flee, the doctor reversed her teleportation device several times until she gave up, and took her prisoner aboard the TARDIS until he could return her to Roxacorica Volipatorius to face execution after her family had already been sentenced to death in their absence. In the process, he and Jack confiscated her extrapolator to use as a power booster in the TARDIS console. Meanwhile, Rose reconnected with Mickey, who offered to spend the night with her at a hotel but later claimed to be seeing Trisha Delaney in her absence. The two got into an argument. Rose felt he was lying about the woman he was supposedly with, while Mickey claimed to keep running for Rose every time she contacted him. While trying to reconcile, Rose ran for the TARDIS when earthquakes started hitting Cardiff. Blonde tried to tear the TARDIS and the Earth apart by making the extrapolator lock onto an alien power source that was refueling on the rift, using the extrapolator as an interstellar surfboard to escape the Earth. After Blonde looked into the heart of the TARDIS and was regressed back into an egg, Rose left Mickey behind to start a new relationship with someone else. Because of her time with the doctor, she realized she no longer felt attracted to him and believed he deserved someone better. Hoping to offer Blon a second chance in life, the doctor decided to drop her off in the hatchery on her homeworld. TV, Boomtown